Hey everyone, I'm Roger from Brickhouse Guitars, but no, this is not Brickhouse Guitars. I am here after a nine hour drive yesterday in Quebec at Michel Pellerin's shop. Hello. And here is Michel, the master himself, <laughs> and he's been working hard uh, over the last two and a half years uh, on and off. He has now completed five guitars. We have four here to show you today. And um, I'll, I'll, we'll do a quick sneak peek and then we're gonna sit and he'll present each guitar to us. So stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. We are rolling. Okay, <laughs> Michel, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> a few guitars. A few, a few guitars. Well, a few guitars. let's take a quick sneak peek and then we'll, we'll sit and talk about each one. Yeah, okay. So um, this one is a folksy model, uh, 13 fret junction with recurved scoop cutaway. So custom made for a client. And it's all so made of Brazilian rosewood. Ooh. Brazilian rosewood. Holy moly. On the run mahogany neck, sinker cedar top chosen by the client. Okay. So we came here and we uh, unload a pile of wood and he, ah. I, I give my preference and he choose. Uh, he one. And François too gives his pre preference. Okay. And all the um, Spalton maple here, there, there comes from a, a tree that he cut himself. He, Right. So, oh wow! Back in the day, so okay. yeah, it's something. It's a great, very, yeah, and very personal. The, yeah, very personal. Wow. Okay, can't wait to see that in depth in a minute. What's this one here? Oh, this one is my presentation model for this year. Uh, I love to make a, a model that I I have like more fancy, elaborate, but still uh, sober in. In itself. Wow. All the inlays are made by Takayuki Ogawa in Japan, all and made. Wow. Wow. And look at that rosette. Beautiful. Cocobolo radiant rosette. Yeah. So it's all small pieces yeah. to emulate like radiation. Cool. And then a paduk? Yeah, paduk with tuxedo neck to enhance the. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Black and orange. Wow. Very Love it. Quarter Oof. sound. And with a salvage Western red cedar top. Okay. Can't wait to try that one too. Ida Gly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. And is that jumbo size? Small jumbo. Small jumbo. Okay. Yeah. But without code. But, yeah. And then those two parlors. Yes, look at this. Both of them, 13 fret junction. First one is made of Andrean mahogany. Oh, but wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this <gasps> figure. Yeah, oh. Andrean mahogany. <laughs> yeah. All ebony appointment. Wow. And so, how old would you say that that mahogany is? Uh, I got this mahogany twenty years ago. Twenty years. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Wow. And salvage Sitka spruce top. Okay. From my too. Yeah. And with rosewood contour and rosette. So is that a uh, fourteen fret or thirteen fret? Nick, thirteen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thirteen. Beautiful. And satin finish. Oh, look at with figured mahogany there too. Wow, love it! Beautiful. And another. Last parlor. but not least. Last but oh, not least. Very not least. Look at this one. Can we? Oh, look at the top. Yeah, it's like the master grade uh, salvage bear classic spruce top. Holy moly! Oh, look at it go. Yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> and Brazilian rosewood. Yeah. Wow. With wow, sap. Wow, wow, wow. 
and the whole idea behind this concept was to keep the sap a continuous sap here there all oh, right yeah there yeah you see so it's like a it's like a continuous a straight line road, a straight road and then oh my goodness here and on the side too right and oh, in the is, rosette. That is brilliant. So it's all pieces take from the, the same okay. wood. This is absolutely a masterpiece. A little bit here. And wow. even the bridge with oh my a God. little bit of sap. So it's all Brazilian rosewood. Uh, Brazilian rosewood bridge, fingerboard, head plates. Okay, but uh, under on mahogany neck. All right, so that's that's maybe one of the most beautiful instruments I've ever seen. You we don't even have to play it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I know, I'm sure it sounds brilliant. But okay, wow. So thanks for uh, the the quick tour. Let's let's uh, change the camera around here and, and have a seat, and we'll uh, we'll just talk a little bit more about each one. Yeah, perfect. All right. We have a third person, Francois, hiding behind. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Who's also involved in, in, in helping you on a daily basis. Yes, yes. 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 How many years has that been? Uh, 21. 21 years. Since oh. 2003. Do you think you're going to keep them? Or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still thinking. 21 oh, no. years. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It was a, kind of a journey. Wow. We, we evolved together okay. uh, as guitar maker. And wow. Yes, I've seen some of Francois's guitars. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, enough about Francois. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the meat. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, this is the mini jumbo. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you said it was reclaimed cedar? or a... Yes, reclaimed cedar with paduk. Uh, one of the, it's one of the wood that... Um, it's it sounds just amazing, reminiscent to Brazilian rosewood, mm. but still affordable, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of same tone as the wenge. Okay. Okay. So uh, brittle and low, uh, a lot of uh, lows and uh, sparkling highs. And why do you? What's your thought on like we don't see too many guitars made with paduk, and it's it is readily available, isn't it? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, but it's uh, it has big pores, okay. so it's a nightmare to finish. Ah, okay. okay, that's why it's uh, it's complicated mm. to deal with it. But uh, once you you achieve that, right? Yeah. So, so you can it's, make uh, it's beautiful. Okay. Guitar wow. like this. Okay. Well, I love the color. It's so rich. You know, that's what I always yeah. you know I always wondered like why aren't there more Paduk guitars out there. Um, because it's certainly not the price of Brazilian rosewood. No, 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 no. it's yeah. not. Yeah, wow. It's not, but the sound is just incredible. Yeah. And you were saying all of these inlays are done by hand? Yeah, uh, it's uh, my Japanese friend, Takayuki Ogawa, who made all these uh, inlays all by hand. So it's impressive. Wow. So he would have cut them by hand too? Yeah. Wow. That's good old school, Jules. Uh, yeah. Holy moly! Wow. So yeah, no, you're really buying a treasure when you have something like, like I, that. like I do the, I, I do mine, but it's just one letter. <laughs> one. <laughs> Better enough for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to make these can okay. take more than a day. Oh, just these, cutting. Just cutting the pieces. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, let's give it a little yeah. strum here. Of course, I'm going to do. I'll be taking this one home with me. I think today. Yeah. So I'll have the chance to do a full review on it for you in the shop with proper microphones. But um, oh man, I love the feel of the neck right away.
exercise our thinking. What a beautiful neck. Wow. All your guitars, are, you know, that's the one thing that's amazing is right from the get-go, yeah, it's the first connection. Yeah, the right from the get-go. You don't have to go, okay, give me five, ten minutes, I'll get used to uh -huh. it. It's like, right away, I could play this. You know, it's amazing. Wow. Well, that is stunningly beautiful. I love the little maple touch here. Yeah. Wow. And, um, so this is, I guess, a, a stain that you've put over the mahogany. No, it in fact it's a paduk neck too. Oh, it is a paduk neck. Yeah, paduk neck, paduk body. Well, I'm glad I asked. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what that little difference of feel is. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. But guitar. it was like two orange, but with the the black, it just right. I love the black and orange. Like, yeah. That's just wow. Like a fancy car. Beautiful. All right. All right. Next one. <laughs> yeah, next one. Well, I can't wait to get these home. Whoa. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. This, this one. is the Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, is a Folk C13, 13 fret junction with a recurved scoop cutaway. So a back and side or Brazilian rosewood, Oops, yeah. a little bit of dust <laughs> in the in the shop. Uh, Brazilian rosewood, so same piece here. Wow. And <gasps> um, salvage Western red cedar. Uh huh. Sinker, sinker cedar. Yeah, it's got some nice. Yeah. Swarming in the color too, beautiful. And sorry, say, tell me again about the the maple. So it's uh, it's a custom guitar that I made for uh, mm -hmm. a client, and back in the days he cut a tree, yep. maple tree that uh -huh. has begun to rotten a little yep. bit. So yep. he kept all this spalted maple, and he told me, "Are you able to do something with it?" Mm -hmm. And with the color, it was just perfect with the color, the very dark Brazilian rosewood. Yeah. So to put this Paulton maple here, here on the end graft. Yeah. So I carefully wow. choose uh, to be able to have some figure in it. Yes. In the rosette, in the 12 fret marker too. Wow. That's amazing. See, that's one of the big, big advantages of working with you, um, you know, with a custom guitar. Is, yes. you, know, you can really do things that are special and unique to that person, right? And we discuss, me and the client, we discuss to find a concept. Mm -hmm. And the concept here was to use is Paulton Maple. Right. Wow. And it was just perfect. For... So obviously this one belongs to that person. Yeah. Um, but again, if anybody's interested in, in something like this, of course, you can take yeah. orders and recreate something very similar. Or personalized to uh, whatever your taste might be so that's the beautiful thing you just have to wait a little bit <laughs> yes a little bit but but uh, not so bad um, you were showing me last night we had uh, we had dinner together last night and, and we were talking about this yeah and how you know pretty complex it is and you were showing me some photos on your phone uh, and I'm gonna ask you to send me those photos because I want to include them <laughs> here in our talk while we're talking uh, I can't believe the process that you have to go through to make this happen. Yeah, it's in fact is two different pieces, but taken from the same wood. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to emulate that it's just the side that is bent all this way, like yes. a race car or something, just beautiful lines and all the, the grain is continuous. And I'll tell you what blows me away. Well, it's your joint here, but this line here. Yeah. That, I could never figure out how you could possibly do that. That white purfling that joins up here perfectly to make like one seamless line. Like, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I had a few <laughs> headaches trying to figure out how to do that. How we will 
be able to achieve that. And we tried. And yeah, first, uh, first attempt. Uh, I mean, this is Brazilian rosewood you're messing around with, like. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to take take this away from from your mind yeah. when you work with like, it. God forbid, right? Like, oops! Oh no! <laughs> uh, like, imagine. Wow. Yeah. Well, you're brave, but um, I mean, no pain, no gain. Like, look at what you've achieved there. That is just amazing. And we've already talked a bit how your lines and go throughout the guitar, um, but it's 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 lovely. Now, is this Brazilian as well? Yes, Brazilian yeah. rosewood bridge, fingerboard, and plates. Right. Wow. And the bridge mm -hmm. and the fingerboard and at plates are from the same piece of wood, so there's a kind of a the con continuity. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the back is the leftovers, uh, the back at plate is the leftovers from the back. Gotcha. Gotcha. So to have the yeah. same color. Right. Well, let me give it a little strum here. And, uh, wow. You know, folk C is, I, someone actually on YouTube asked me what my favorite guitar has been over the last five years. And I haven't answered yet. At least I don't think I answered because it, it, that's a head scratcher. Because how do you pick a favorite guitar, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, because they're all, I've you know, come across so many beautiful guitars and so many of your beautiful guitars. We've sold a few dozen now. Um, but I think the Folk C is my, definitely my favorite model for me. Um, and uh, I have, we have, we have one in the works. I have some Brazilian rosewood yes. here hiding away Just, in the corner there. Uh -huh. That I Just purchased. <laughs> how many years I purchased? I think forty years ago. Wow! And it was probably about twenty years old or more when I bought it. Um, so that that I forgot I had it. It was just sitting in storage, and and it's good. We I, we decided it's it's wide enough to build. Yes, a we will be able to. So sixty five is coming in a year and a half. So you better get me oh, on that list. Okay, okay, a year and a half. <laughs> I got my first one from you when I turned sixty. Uh huh. And I can't believe like it's, I mean, oh my God, the years go quick, right? Oh, wow, that's scary. But um, <laughs> I think my Folk C, this is what we're going to do. It's a Folk C. The Folk C with the 13, and it's slightly shorter scale too, right? It's 25. 25. So many people these days are asking me about shorter scale guitars. And, um, you know, a lot of us are getting older, unfortunately. The arthritis, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Uh, so a 13 fret with a slightly shorter scale is just like, wow, it feels like home. And there's something about this model that just, oh wow. It does it for me. Oh yeah. guitar wow and this actually works like yeah works it's well. almost i like it better than a cutaway mm -hmm. because your hand actually can rest here right yeah it's like wow like i that's that's really cool and the customer it's his fourth camera <laughs> oh <laughs> and we are talking I'm, about I'm another one <laughs> <laughs> i got another one oh those are the good customers by yes. the way yeah wow well felicitations 
Congratulations. Amazing. Oh, and these are uh, Circlers. Circlers. Yeah. Yes. Love it. Wonderful. Wow. So this is a model that I don't <clears throat> make very often, uh -huh. but I love very small guitar, like you play on your couch and yeah, it's always yeah. there. And so I love this size for yeah. that. And made of Andrean mahogany. I can't get over that piece of mahogany. Yeah, that I, I oh. bought a few sets of more than 20 years ago. And it was still uh, in my shelf. Uh, I don't know why. Mahogany is a little bit less popular than before. So I I had less orders, but I I love mahogany. I love the sound. I love the mid range. Yeah. I love the quick response. Yeah. So I said, why? I, I will just make some. And yeah. here's what I love about mahogany when it's done right is how the sound fills up the, the space. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not like punchy directional. It is just like comes from everywhere. Right? Yeah, it's open. It's airy. Um, there's something about that that just sort of envelopes you in a really warm and fuzzy way. Of course, when it's done right. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> and actually, even when it's not not so right, mahogany he's still an awesome wood, right? Yeah, like you know, if I were buying an inexpensive guitar, like say fifteen hundred dollar guitar. Uh -huh. I would want it to be mahogany. Mahogany. Yeah, because it is definitely a friendlier wood. You yeah. Know? Yeah. My two first guitar were made of mm -hmm. mahogany and I just fell in love with, yeah. uh, with that. Wow. So wonderful. Sika spruce top. Now this is a 13 fret. 13 fret junction. Wow. So Same. it's all about 13 frets today. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see. Ah, this is the neck that I'm familiar with. Yourself a drink and yeah. put a candle on, and you know, and just enjoy more. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, what a perfect way to spend an evening! This is a sweetheart. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. This one. Wow. Well, well, see, I just want to hold it. No, no, no. You hold it first. Um, this is another parlor, but made with um, wood that I. It's just. It's so gorgeous. It's, oh my God. This. Yeah, Brazilian rosewood with sapwood. And I had enough sapwood to use it as a concept to have continuous sapwood lines yeah, that's just all insane. along. Wow. And also on the sides, so you can see 
the sap here, even in the end graph. It's just absolutely. And then in the rosette, as a 12 fret marker. Oh my God. And as last special touch. Right. In the bridge. And was that from the same piece of wood? Yes, say, uh, this is the same piece as, as this one and as this one. Uh, not the same piece as the no. back and side, no. but it was kind of similar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it, with uh, its massa grade salvage, it's bare classic spruced up. Wow. I mean, this is just, from a build point of view, it's a tour de force. It's, 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 it's <laughs> One of the most stunningly beautiful guitars I've ever personally witnessed in my life. Um, it's everything a guitar should be at master level. Um, and I'm sure the sound is not going to disappoint. Um, I don't, I'm even nervous to play it. Like, <laughs> I, I want to do it justice right from the first note. <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> I'll just sit here for a while and, and, and bore these people. How's that? <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Like goosebumps. Oh my. Wow. I mean, yeah. Wow. 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 Hmm. I mean, just this alone, the way that color works with everything is, it's just all right. Yeah. It's just all perfect. Wow. Are these shirtlers again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like triple, quadruple congratulations. Like it's, I don't know, how to, <laughs> what can I say? Fantastic. And uh, Francois has some input in this too oh, as yes. well. So oh, for yes. the two of you, amazing. In fact, pass the camera to, I want to say hello to Francois. <laughs> All dressed up. <laughs> ready, to <laughs> yeah, ready to work. <laughs> Meet Francois. <laughs> Thank you for helping out with these beautiful Real instruments. Pleasure. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Wow, great team. Wow, 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 wow. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, we'll edit this a little bit and uh, hopefully make it presentable for you, but it's been so exciting to see these instruments. I can't wait to get them home. I can't wait to photograph them and review them uh, one by one uh, for all of our viewing pleasure. Um, so we'll you know, stay tuned. Cheers.